All right, it just hit the shut off again. I'm out here today with the Traxxas Bandit VXL. I'm gonna revisit a video I did a while back. What I did is I pitted two different 3S batteries against one another. One was an Ovonic 5200 milliamp hour 3S battery. The other battery was also a 3S, an Ovonic 2200 milliamp hour battery. And a bone stock Traxxas Bandit VXL all the way down to the tires being stock. This Bandit went 52 miles an hour on the Ovonic 5200 milliamp hour battery. On the little 2200 milliamp hour battery, it only went 48 miles an hour. So a four mile an hour difference, which was pretty substantial. Now, since then I've done a ton of battery testing, I've tested nine different 3S batteries around 5200 milliamp hours, and many of them were much faster than this battery. So this stock band, it probably could have hit 55 to 56 miles an hour on a high performance 3S battery being completely stock. Those of you that follow my channel know, however, I've changed the pinion gear and expanded to a 35 tooth from the stock 26 tooth pinion. And now, depending on the battery, it goes anywhere from 71 miles an hour with a Savonic up to 77.6 was the fastest with my 5,000 milliamp hour battery from rcbattery.com, which is this one here. 77.6 is pretty darn fast. This SMC was also really fast. It hit over 76 miles an hour. And this one actually fits in the car properly. Anyway, back to the subject matter. So this Avonic battery, the 5200 milliamp hour battery is 19 miles an hour faster than it was back when the car was completely stuck. So again, 71 miles an hour is typically what this runs. Today, I'm gonna to start off with the 2200 milliamp hour battery and see. I'm guessing it's only gonna be able to hit about 65 miles an hour. And the reason for that is voltage sag. These high performance LiPos have very little voltage sag. And if you go back and look at my testing in the Big Rock, you can see that these batteries perform really well. Batteries like the Savonic have a lot of voltage sag. So I crunched some numbers and assuming a battery like this only uh, drops to about 12.3 volts when it's fully charged under load from the Bandit. The Bandit's motor demands 65 amps continuous is what it's rated at or 100 amps burst. This battery has no problem providing that. And in theory, the Ovonic 5200 would have no problem providing that. But as you know, or most of you probably know, C ratings are nonsense. And this battery, you take 5.2 amps, 5200 milliamp hours is 5.2 amps. And you multiply that number times the C rating. So 260 amps is what this should continuously be able to provide, which it's not gonna do. Not well anyway. So the Avonic 2200 milliamp hour, 2.2 amps times its 50 C, 110 amps. We're gonna see today that that's just not gonna, it's not gonna perform well at anything close to a 50 C discharge rate. So again, assuming the Luperior is only going down about 12.3 volts when this thing's going all out on a fully charged battery, I calculated that out to be 6.3 miles an hour per volt. When I look at the Avonic battery that does 71 miles an hour, Using that multiplier, I came out with about 11.3 volts is what it's running at, because 71 miles an hour versus the 77 miles an hour in that multiplier. I'll put down in the description here the math, but just take my word for it. These are approximate numbers. So if the 2200 milliamp hour battery is only gonna go about 65 miles an hour, that would be a whole nother volt lower than this battery or two volts lower than this one so we're talking severe voltage sag assuming these numbers are in line with what i'm saying right now so we'd be looking at about 4.1 volts per cell for this 3.75 volts per cell for this and i'll crunch the numbers but probably about 
3.4 volts per cell for the 2200 milliamp hour battery, which is just a disgusting amount of voltage sag. And that's why all 3S batteries are not created equally. You need a battery that has a true C rating that's high, like this SMC. And one more thing I'm gonna to touch on before I get into this speed run is, SMC has an awesome video where they show how much different battery makers lie about C ratings. SMC lies about it too, because they wanna not be undercut by battery manufacturers that make crazy claims, like Ovonic saying this is 50C when it's not. So this is rated 135C, and it could probably rate it even higher to compare to this, but watch the video and you'll see what I'm talking about, that these C ratings are fictitious for most batteries. And in many cases, you wanna take that number like this 50 and probably divide it by two or even three to be safe. That's enough talk for now. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the speed runs. First up, Ovonic 2200 milliamp hour 3S 50C battery. Hopefully these AKA handlebar tires will hold up. My first set was awesome. These are defective and they're wearing out prematurely, but I'm hoping they'll hold together for the speed run, at least for the uh, 2200 milliamp hour battery. Let me go ahead and reset this. And that's reset. And we're ready to go. Ovonic 3S 2200 milliamp hour battery. All right, it just prematurely shut down. I think it hit the low voltage shut off. So I think my estimations of it sagging down to about 3.4 volts per cell was right. Cause that's where the shut off is uh, set to. And it definitely had way less punch than any of the 5,200 milliamp hour batteries. Let's see what kind of speeds we reached. Okay, it sagged even more than I had predicted. So about 62 miles an hour. I'll go ahead and uh, give it one more run and see what happens. Just hit the shut off again. So Ovonic claims this is a 50C battery. And again, 50 times 2.2 amps for a 2200 milliamp hour battery means it should be able to handle 110 continuous amp draw. This motor only can put out 100 amps total in burst but it's um, continuous rating 65 amps. So let's just assume with my taller gearing, maybe it's at 70 amps, maybe even 75. But um, there we go. This time we did go a little faster, 65 miles an hour. Maybe I'll run it one last time. It should certainly slow down, but 65 was more in line with what I expected this battery to run. Okay, I got the ESC reset. One last run, and we'll see if with the battery really warmed up now, if it can do better than 65. It is cooler out here than I normally run these batteries. I kept them warm until I got out here, but uh, it'd be interesting to see if the Avonic can hit 71, or if it's a touch slower today. All right, here we go. And it just hit the low voltage shut off again. Bring it back. All right, 64.3. So now we have a good idea of what this battery is going to run. And next up, Ovonic 3S 5200. Okay, I got the Ovonic 5200 milliamp hour 50C battery in here. Everything's cleared out. Let's see what it'll do. All 
right, let's see what we got with the 5200. 71.6, so real consistent with previous runs I've done. And this battery is definitely cooler than the 2200 was. The ESC is barely warm. All right, using the assumptions I made with this battery that went 77.6 miles an hour in the Bandit, assuming it was about 12.3 volts when it's under full throttle, and then back calculating for this battery at 71 miles an hour, and this one at 65 miles an hour, worked out. So it looks like this one again was probably at about 11.3 volts initially and that's about 3.75 volts per cell so that's how much voltage drop we're looking at 4.1 volts per cell 3.75 volts per cell this one dropped down based on that calculation to 10.3 volts right off the bat and then that equates to 3.4 volts per cell so right around the shutoff so i think those numbers make a lot of sense and uh, that just goes to show you how important a good quality battery is in a high demand device. So if you have a Traxxas Bandit, an Armor Big Rock, whatever it is that demands a lot of current, be careful. This Ovonic, I have no issues with its claim capacity. It exceeds it. It has like 5,500 milliamp hours of capacity, but these C ratings are just out of control. They're just shenanigans. And um, you know, I just went ahead and showed you with this battery here, that in theory it's plenty powerful for that bandit but it's not all right well next video i'm going to do with this bandit this christmas i think i'm going to get some uh taller gearing for it i'm going to try to get it up over 80 miles an hour with my high performance batteries i hope to do this test again and really put this thing under high demand although i think i pretty much reached its limit today when it uh was shutting off prematurely but maybe we can make this one reach its limit. We shall see. That's all I have for now, guys. Take care.